boss lady. Hey boss lady and welcome to another episode of Boss Lady Broadcast where I solve social media problems one boss lady at a time. I'm Erica Jordan and you can find me at heybosslady.com. So we're going to jump right into this question because it's something that is a huge pet peeve of mine and that is stock photos. Should you be buying them? Absolutely not. There are so many free stock photo sites out there. You should never have to buy a, a photo for your social media ever again. So my question this week is from Dana, and she asks what my favorite stock photos are. So there are a lot of free stock photo sites, like I said before, and which ones are my favorite? I have three. Well, two are websites. The third one is pretty self-explanatory. So the first free stock photo source that I love is Death to Stock Photo. Um, and with this site, you log in and you sign up to get free emails and you get a pack of about 8 to 10 free photos every month in your email. And I love the photos, and they also give really good details on the photographers and how you can follow them and see more of their shots. So I love those photos. Of course, I edit them afterwards in maybe PicMonkey or Canva and then use them on my social media sites. The next source is a newer source that is quickly becoming one of my favorites, and that's New Old Stock. And it's all vintage photos from as far back as the early 1900s all the way to the 70s, 80s, 90s. Um, so it's all vintage photos that you can tie into your social media. I just go to that site, I save the photos, I edit them if I want in PicMonkey or Canva. Those are the two photo editor sites that I use, and I use them throughout my social media. And I just love, love love them. Last but not least, a great source for free photos that you should be using all throughout your social media sites and your website is you, your photos. All the photos that you take on a daily basis on your phone. People are taking photos from their phone all of the time. Take a walk in a park, go to your favorite coffee shop, even just throughout your day running errands, you can find beautiful landscapes that you can take pictures of and edit afterwards for your social media posts. I do this all of the time. I even sometimes just scroll through the gallery of my photos in my phone and I can see that there's shots that I had taken, not even for the purpose of social media stock photos, but they seem really cool. So I go through, point those out, and then use those for later use also. So Dana, those are my three favorite sources. One, death to stock photo. Two, new old stock. And three, yourself. Take free photos. They're free. Never buy photos ever, ever, ever again. You don't need to. So, I hope this helps. And I want to hear from all of you now. What are your favorite free stock photo sites? And make sure to add the link in the comments below so we can all check them out. And if you have a social media problem that you want solving in a future Boss Lady broadcast, just email me at erica at heybosslady.com. Stay bossy.